Hello everyone! Today, I'll show you how to create an impressive effect where a stage or building appears out of nowhere. Let's get started. We begin by taking a screenshot of the initial frame of the shot you want to use. Next, drag the screenshot into Photoshop. Select the polygonal lasso tool and duplicate the shot. Then, select the stage you want to remove to create a clean sheet. Once everything is selected, click on Generative Fill and type Remove. Browse through the generated options and select the best one. Now, take the layer with the stage still in it and start cutting out all the elements you want to animate one by one. Start from the bottom and work your way up. Select the part you want to cut out. Right-click and choose Copy Layer. Don't forget to name the layers to make it easier in Premiere. Go back to the layer with all the stage parts and continue cutting out pieces until you're done. When you're finished cutting everything out, finally select the audience layer because this is the layer from which everything will eventually emerge. Delete the layer with the complete stage. Save it as a Photoshop file. Once back in Premiere, import the Photoshop file and choose Import as Individual Layers. Select all layers and place them on the timeline. Start with the clean plate as the bottom layer and the audience layer as the top layer. We'll animate everything in between. Begin by building the stage from the bottom up. In the description, there is a press it pack that makes it easy to animate the buildings. Simply drag the move from bottom effect onto your layer and it will move from the bottom up. Make sure to adjust the timing by moving and cutting the layers. Always place your second building layer under the last animated building layer. If there are too many layers on the timeline, nest some layers to create more space, but never nest the top layer with the audience. As you progress and want elements to come from the middle, use Move from Left or Move from Right. When using these, apply a mask so the elements truly appear from the middle and not the edges. Once you're satisfied, nest everything together and cut when the effect is just one frame complete. Add the screen shake present to make it look more dynamic. To make the transition between the two clips smooth, add an adjustment layer and apply our shake effect. Finally, add some sound effects to enhance the overall effect. And you're done!